Gentlemen, I hope you had a great lunch. Now, I would like to invite our audience to take a seat because we will now start the afternoon session. Welcome back to the fourth World Conference on Tourism and Culture, Investing in Future Generations. When you're ready, seated, I would like to invite our speaker on stage. Now, our speaker is the mayor of Kyoto City, and I've interviewed him in July. It was delightful talking to him. He's dressed in kimono all the time, and I always wonder, how does he manage to wear kimono all the time? Because it's not an easy attire to wear. Maybe he can answer some of the questions. Now, here's Mr. Daisaku Kadokawa, mayor of Kyoto City. And he will talk about achieving the SDGs with the Kyoto model as the ideal relationship between tourism, culture, and local communities. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your kind attendance. And with the Kyoto model, we'd like to achieve SDGs and try to solve all the challenges and the problems. And this is the citizens' initiatives. And based on that concept, I'd like to proceed. So this is a meeting on the tourism and the culture. There are so many meetings separately on tourism or on culture. But indeed, it is a very unique the conference uh, to cover both aspects. And this is indeed uh, meaningful and useful. And I'd like to pay respect to all the people involved in the, uh, having this meeting. And uh, Kyoto has been developed based on culture, tradition, and also with the tourism, uh, we have uh, uh, most advanced uh, engineering. And it's been uh, highly evaluated by the world. And more than 50 years uh, have been investigating uh, many things. And especially the, the satisfaction level of the uh, domestic tourists is more than 90%. And uh, the satisfaction uh, the level of the overseas tourists is 97% or more. And the Japanese press conducted a study on the SDGs initiatives among the 800, more than 800 municipalities uh, on the 75 items. And uh, sustainability and SDGs and the Kyoto's initiative was the, uh, evaluated the best among the Japanese uh, cities. Uh, this is indeed uh, the output and also the endeavors by the Jap Kyoto people. In the past 20 years, uh, the tourist number is increasing over 50 million people. And uh, uh, just one day visitors number is uh, diminishing and there are more tourists uh, overnight. And there are many initiatives for the tea ceremonies and other cultural programs and aspects. So people moved around, and it's a wonderful thing. And, uh, and there is an increase of the, the uh, tourists staying overnight, or more than one night. And it's been uh, the more than 6 million uh, people increase. And the Kyoto is a very famous place for the Kyoto Protocol. 22 years ago, the protocol was achieved here. And the people are working very hard to diminish the waste and the garbages. In the past 18 years, our waste generation has been uh, limited down to 50%. However, the energy consumption, it's been decreased by 26% the past 20 years. And the people move around. And the automotive use has been decreased by 20%. The public transportation 
has been very much used, and there is an increase of 30 percent. And uh, uh, visitors to Kyoto, 41.7 uh, percent of the peop uh, visitors used cars in the past, but it came down to 8.6 percent. So people say they are more overseas tourists. That is because. But no, 80 percent of the tourists are the Japanese tourists. So the usage of their own cars for visiting Kyoto has been diminishing in number. And also the uh, public transportation became to be more useful uh, for the people. And in the past five years, the crime rate has been also diminished by 45 percent. And uh, this year, uh, further decrease by 9 percent. So they, we try to provide the appropriate hospitality for the tourists. And even though there is an increase of the tourists, but the crime rate has been diminished. The Kyoto Congress next year to be held and uh, uh, crime related to the General Assembly. The conference will be held in Kyoto after 50 years, the second time in Kyoto. And the Kyoto is the second venue to uh, welcome the two uh, the meetings of this uh, next to Geneva. So May this year, the, against uh, the uh, Paris Agreement, uh, the IPCC Kyoto uh, the guideline has been adopted. And uh, we, have, we asked them to put the name of Kyoto, and the chairperson uh, agreed upon that. And the Paris uh, Agreement from the Kyoto Protocol to Paris Agreement. And for the execution of the activities, the IPCC Kyoto guideline was uh, adopted. And uh, uh, Kyoto appealed to achieve 1.5 centigrade, and that is a z net zero uh, carbon emission until 2050. And that is the declaration by Kyoto. And this is a feature of the Kyoto city. 794, Kyoto became to be the cap capital of Japan, Nagaoka, and other cities before the Kyoto. And the, the Kyoto's, the name of the capital Kyoto was called Heiyankyo, peace and tranquility. And there are so many cultural heritage cities, but the, most of the cities created the town walls but the Kyoto didn't have any walls. So we are not protecting the city from the attack from outside, but we try to uh, the interact and communicate with outsiders. And that was a concept from the beginning. So the diversity and the multiplicity of the culture and the social inclusion, inclusiveness has been so much protected by that city. And the declaration of the Kyoto as a city open to the free exchange of world culture was declared 40 years ago. We try to have the good and the free communication among the different type of the people and then try to create a new cultural city. And that was the idea and the concept of the city. And based on the culture, the city has been managed and operated. And happily enough, the cultural agency was decided to move down to Kyoto. Maybe after two years, uh, the further strength and the function of a cultural agency will move to Kyoto. So Kyoto, in the real sense, be the center uh, of the culture of Japan. So here is a Kyoto model the variety of the different issues and problems to be uh, the resolved. Environmental destructions and uh, uh, conflicts and uh, the wars and those, uh, the varieties of different uh, the problems to be resolved uh, based on the culture and tourism. 
Today, I would like to highlight on the three points. City planning the values and protects culture and local communities. Number two, leading the way in solving problems related to tourism. So by tourism, we would like to the resolve the problems. And then the nurturing the human resources in the area. So I always say, Kyoto is not created for the purpose of the tourism. There are temples, shrines, and varieties of the different uh, landscapes and cultures and natures. And uh, those has been very much uh, appreciated by the people. But this is not for the benefit of the tourism. This uh, is uh, the aesthetics of the life and the culture of life. So that has been inherited for many, many years without any disruptions and the uh, coexistence with the nature and the beauty of the life and the philosophy of the life and the value systems and those to be highly appreciated by the people. And that is indeed the essence of Kyoto. And the tourism should also be sustainable. 20% of the national treasures are here in Kyoto. Those are very important. But within the community, there are varieties of different festivals, festivities, and cultural activities. And we try to uh, protect them, designating the intangible cultural assets. So we have been putting much emphasis on that side. In 1987, for example, the uh, religious summit meeting was held here. The religious leaders gathered together here in Kyoto, and they discuss about the peace and the security of the human being. And uh, after 22 years, uh, we are very proud of having this opportunity. And this is one of the uh, Bon Festival, Jizo Bon. And every district, they have those festivities and the religious uh, the ceremony with the children with a Buddhist monk. And the history is not so flat. The emperor moved to Tokyo, and uh, uh, Kyoto lost the status of the capital. And at that time, the people were very sad, and the 60% of the land area uh, was devastated, and the population became to be just one third. But the people believe the town creation should be done by the citizens. If we educate and nurture the little children, uh, we can develop our society. And that was the idea of the Kyotoids in those days. At the, before the national government enacted the provision of the elementary schools, uh, the Kyotoids uh, spent their own money to create the elementary schools for the Kyoto children. There are 220 uh, elementary school districts. And that is the representative community. And the variety of the local communities are there. And then uh, they are the promoters of the townships. So we have to put much emphasis on the life culture. And by having the tourism, we'd like to further strengthen uh, that aspect. So let me take an example of the Gion Festival. Uh, there are more than 2,000 temples and the shrines. Every day through the year, there are many rituals and festivals and uh, so on. And one of them uh, is the Gion Festival with the Yasaka Shrine. It has uh, the 1,100-year 1, uh, history. And this, the idea is very close to the SDGs aspect and concept. And Her uh, Imperial Highness Akiko also mentioned about it. And there are natural disasters in uh, 900 and 800. And uh, try to soothe those disasters, the emperor uh, created the 66 the Gion uh, floats for the festivities. And that is also related with the SDGs, um, carrying the portable shrines for the festivals. And there is a parade 
uh, of the floats. There are st still the 33 different uh, the floats. And if I explain everything, I have to spend overnight. So we have, I have to stop here. This is the lifestyle culture. We are respecting nature, appreciating it, and thinking of the ancestors and trying to live well with good spirit. And that is succeeded in festival, and the community has the bond. And that bonded teamwork is leading to the succession of festival. So tourism has role to be the promoter and more and more tourists will visit Kyoto. And then each community people, Kyoto, it will develop their own pride. Kyoto itself is a pride for Kyoto people. And profit will come. And sponsorship will have the fee collected. And floats are costly to preserve. So therefore, the income can be spent for the preservation. So this is a good circulation. One more benefits of the tourism is as follows. Living people will pursue convenience. Now we have the townhouses and the streets is disappearing because those townhouses in old Kyoto style is not easy to live for modern people. I would prefer to live there. However, tourists would like to have the non-daily lifestyle. So therefore, the community people sometimes avoid and discard the old things. However, by developing the tourism, the value of old things can be refound by the tourists. Princess Akiko said that foreigners are wearing the kimono, but the authentic kimono would be better. Yes, that's true. However, foreigners are enjoying walking streets wearing kimono. And looking at that, the Japanese young people are reminded themselves of the beauty of kimono. That's the effect. In Gion Festival, zero waste campaign has been pushed forward. We have many, many tourists, and a huge garbage will be generated. And 2,000 volunteers for every day mobilized for zero waste campaign and sorting for plastic and no disposable allowed. And this campaign has widened for the nationwide of Japan. That's a great thing. And again, culture and community. And one more, that is a tourism, good circulation that can be supported by the public sector administration. This bolstering support is very important. But if the administration has the too pushy attitude, then the local community will have dissent and the culture will be hampered. That's very really difficult. So subtle balance is very much important. Leading the way in solving problems related to tourism, we should be an advanced city. That means that tourism should never become the consumer of culture. Tourism should not destroy the community. Tourism should promote the vitality of the towns. Recently in Kyoto, we have a rapid increase of the foreign guests, and we are facing the many issues. That's reality. This year, we checked all the items. And then we invited travel agencies and community people, and we got a hearing. And we came up with the three pillars, and 50 actions are developed. First is countermeasures against overcrowding. Number two, countermeasures against rapid increase in accommodation facilities. Number three, countermeasures against breaches of manners by tourists. First, against overcrowding. We have three dispersions of concentration. One is dispersion of season. Two, dispersion of locations. Three, dispersion of time of day. If we have the proper job done, then we can overcome overcrowding. Dispersion of season. Dramatic improvement was done 15 years ago. That's on the left. For the February and August, 3.6 times difference between February and November. But we developed the winter Kyoto journey or a summer journey in Kyoto. So those were the campaign. And then that discrepancy was shrinked down to 1.4 times between the high season and low season. And then the workers are not anymore seasonal workers. They can get the stable 
employment opportunities in this tourism. And time of the day, for example, morning was emphasized, or the night time was emphasized. And now we have uh, lots of visitors, so the visitors staying, not the day trip. And location, now it is aggravating. SNS people invites people, Instagram invites people. Now the overcrowded city is the Kyoto. As I mentioned, we have 2,000 shrines and temples in Kyoto. And not necessarily all the temples are open to public, but out of 2,000 temples and the shrines, only per crowded one is less than 1%. For example, Fushimi Shrine, 10 years ago, not so many people visited, but all of a sudden, concentration of visitors is the phenomena. In Fushimi Ward, there are other attractive spots, but all the people trying to visit Fushimi Shrine, how to disperse those? Then we have the good events coordinated with the Kyoto prefectural government. We should develop the attractive sites so that we can have the dispersion of the location. And the, we have big data, location information, whether or day of the week or the crowded hours. And AI can predict the comfortable degree for the visit, visualization. And SNS will dispatch those information if there is an overcrowded, then less people will visit. That means that smartphone will have the information of those. And second one, the countermeasures against rapid increase in accommodation and facilities. The largest one problem in Kyoto several years ago was the lack of accommodation facilities. Kyoto has been highly appreciated in the world. So therefore, rapid increase of accommodation was realized for four years. 16,000 rooms increase was made. And still, several thousands rooms will be added before the Tokyo Olympic. With this background, we collected the reporting of information for unlicensed accommodation. Because of the usage of the internet, there are lots of unlicensed accommodation. So suspected one were 2,583. And we had a full-time check-in staff, 46 people dedicated for checking. And then 99% ended up with the suspension of business. That was our success. But for remaining 19 cases, we would like to eradicate those unlicensed accommodation. Safety and security of people in local, and also if the succession of local culture is not promoted, and then we decided to declare refusal. We announced a declaration of refusal together with local people. We would like to strengthen the good tourism, especially in Kyoto Station. There is a concentration of accommodation, but accommodation required in the rural area, hilly area, mountainous area. Next is the manners. Do as Romans do in Rome. That means that the ethical code does exist in tourism. Among the tourists, we have the intercultural difference. That's the background. We have a lot of measures, but now we are inviting 8,000 travel agencies to educate their customers we invite all embassies or the consulate offices or mass media so that they can know the Japanese manner before they visit Japan. And at the airport also, we have the information available. So we would like to eliminate the cases of breach of manners. And we would like to make the ethical code for the behavior as a tourist that is also, together with community people, would like to dispatch the practice of Kyoto. And for the sustainable succession, we need to develop the human resources in tourism and the culture. We have been doing a lot of activities, but let me introduce to you some. For inns or hotels or souvenir shops, there are many dedicated service workers, and we have the certification system for the Kyoto Hospitality Concierge. With sense of pride, they can work. And also, there is a Kyoto training for the 
traditional culture and industry interpreters or interpreting guides and also taxi drivers english chinese and french taxi drivers can study those foreign languages so foreign friendly taxis are certified in kyoto and also for accommodation hotels and so on they learn the tea ceremony or flower arrangement because those are the culture of Kyoto and they can be the ambassador to promote Japanese culture and we have lots of college students 150,000 students and we have 30 or more of the colleges and many foreign students are studying abroad here in Kyoto therefore we are developing the human talents at Kyoto University for example graduate school of management MBA was developed and the Kyoto University of the industry also has those approaches for the MBA or the tourism major we have lack of bearers of culture that's a serious problem however for the bearers of the tourism is equal to the bearers of culture they are the embodied people for the culture and we have to show respect to them and those professionals should be respected by all the people and we have to enhance the level of the social recognition for service related tourism related workers they have to get up early in the morning work till late and cannot they take day offs at the weekend but that should be changed high salary they can take days off they can have dreams and hope that should be the tourism related profession so that should be required for the succession of culture then that will promote in the tourism and culture this is exactly the theme investment for the future generation exactly they should develop the people to support tourism they should collect respects from all the people so that they can have dream for the future thank you now again culture local community tourism that should be cycled in a good way and administration should support solidly and we should solve the problem sometimes tourism has the wild force sometimes it's nearly swallow the culture it shouldn't happen or something tourism the wild force nearly collapsed the local community that should never happen therefore for the sake of the continuity of local community culture tourism should support those and we should develop the human resources so that they can promote those well from Kyoto to the rest of the world tourism by culture by SDGs no one left behind we should achieve sustainable society and world peace through the influence of tourism and the culture high education and good health and economic success and environmental improvement all those should be aligned into one direction tourism is great thing by exchanges we can enhance the mutual understanding by so doing we can contribute a lot to the world peace we should contribute to the world peace through this conference, we can get the inputs of their practices from the rest of the world. At the same time, here in Kyoto, we are starting to see the problems. We are committed to squarely facing those issues to overcome so that we can submit the model of Kyoto so that we can make a contribution, if small. Thank you very much. Mayor Daisaku Kadokawa of the A Kyoto Shicho Kadokawa Daisam Desta Kadokawa Daisak Sama Desta A Kano Shicho Sama Gashime Stera Shalu Shishu Deskeredomo Kimono no Ushiro Nyaru SDG no Moyo Ga Shishu Sarete made by the Kyoto's traditional art and craft. So <laughs> there you go. And can we talk a little bit about your sandals? Mayor, <laughs> he was wearing special sandals, which is a combination of the traditional crafts and a sportswear maker. So, yes, he can run in those sandals. <laughs> 